Hi everyone, uh, let's discuss about uh, DevOps and cloud project ideas. So over the next few weeks, I will be creating a series of project ideas. I will not be implementing anything, but I will let you guys know what a good project can be. You guys can go ahead and implement it in your environment. Learn from use ChatGPT or any other um, search engine. You try to search use cases around it. The idea of these uh, use cases or the projects is that most of the organizations use these uh, these kind of projects. So let's take an example uh, in today's uh, use case or today's project idea. Most of the organizations will have some sort of Git repository, say GitLab, GitHub Actions or, or any other um, Azure uh, repos. Uh, and also they will have uh, some sort of uh, project management tool or their scrum tool most of the time it's jira you can have azure devops or some other tools as well used so the project that we want to build is uh, have some sort of integration between jira which is your agile uh, tracking tool uh, call it project management or itsm or any any um, uh, language but uh, some sort of integration between jira and your git repository so we want to accomplish that we want to learn what sort of best practices are followed in this case? What should a developer do? What should the testers do uh, when they are creating a defect in system? How they should link it to a specific user story and that, that entire workflow. What should happen to your Jira tickets when something is in progress? When some Jira ticket is in progress, what should happen uh, to a Jira ticket which is which we are trying to merge so all that uh, all those events should be captured if not all then at least have understand from uh, your analysis what those different events are for example there is a ticket uh, which is uh, in backlog or in to do uh, status assigned to a devops engineer ideally he should uh, move it to in progress before starting work but if he is he is doing some work and makes a uh, some sort of commit against that ticket the one of the best practices is that when you are creating a feature or, or your branch to work on uh, some item you should have a jira ticket id in the um, in the comment or uh, it, it can be in the uh, name of the feature as well so you should have that jira id in in um, in the comment and uh, based on that jira knows that that you are you already started working on it so it should ideally move it automatically to uh, next level, which is in progress or whatever your Jira workflow is. So, and similarly, when a specific pull request or a merge request uh, is completed successfully uh, against a specific uh, branch, then it should move to um, uh, some uh, review or some closed or done status. So try to create such uh, such environment for yourself. Jira uh, is freely available. You can install or you can uh, use Jira Cloud. Uh, same goes for uh, GitLab or GitHub Actions. You can use these tools, their free accounts, and integrate your Jira environment with your uh, uh, source code environment and learn most of the best practices around it. Almost all the organizations that, uh, that I have worked with or uh, we, uh, we interact on day to day basis, they are using these tools. The idea of such project ideas is that that you can easily build trust with uh, in, in your interviews. So if you give confidence that you have been using a, a agile tool, you have been in, you have integrated uh, your source code uh, tool with your uh, project management tool, it automatically builds a sort of trust. It, it gives them an idea that you are just another um, uh, employee of like somebody you can easily talk to your their employees and you can gel with them very easily because you are already coming from that sort of background so whether you are fresher or architect or whatever role you have if you can justify your um, experience in these tools i mean these these are not jira and gitlab integration is not the only tool that that you should focus on this is the first idea that you should understand as a devops engineer what sort of how to integrate first of all between them what best practices have to be followed so use chat gpt use any tool what best practices uh, you should be following when integrating this what sort of uh, uh, requirements or what sort of instructions 
as a devops engineer you need to give to the developers because you need to engage them you what instructions you should be giving to the developers the testers when they are creating stories then creating the, their their tasks when they are creating defects in jira system so what should they do how they should link it to a specific story uh, or a user story or a task those instructions you have to understand uh, well and what are some of the key triggers some of the key events uh, that you should configure so it could be on a pull request or a merge request a new pull request is created or an uh, a specific pull request is closed so what should happen in jira reflecting that so try to build uh, such uh, you know good understanding around this this will be a, a, a sort of good project for you to uh, very easily earn trust with the interviewer and tell them that you are you have not just built a tech, just technical products or uh, pipelines or stuff you also can with very minimal training you can easily work with uh, their existing employees you have been interacting with people because all these workflows you cannot come up yourself you you will interact with the developers you will interact with different stakeholders could be product owner could be scrum master so as a devops engineer one of the core skill set is being able to influence people being able to communicate properly with different stakeholders so how do you come up with those points how do you implement them these all these integrations these triggers how do you train your developers how do you train your uh, it's not a massive massive training that you will write a lot of documents or take them for hours uh, sessions it would be a short session where you will explain them the way of working because the devops engineers drive the way of working in an organization they will say that there are different stages uh, they, that should be in a process and how they they have to be mapped uh, in terms of uh, the the gitlab or the git repository uh, standpoint so uh, that should give a lot of confidence uh, when you take such points in in your interviews and in your discussions so watch this video again if possible make you know, make a list or make some sort of notes that you should be doing uh learning those best practices documenting uh listing down what you should be building then integrate your uh, agile system and integrate with your git repository uh find out the uh, the kind of events that you need to track list down those events implement them in the system it could be simple and understand what best practices have to be followed when you integrate jira and uh, your uh, git git repository and list down the instructions that you should as a devops engineer uh, you should be giving to your dev and your testing team that should be a good learning point uh, starting point for you to start your devops and cloud journey thank you